morning. It is Sunday and it is, I have no idea, <laughs> 9.30, going on 10 maybe? I don't know, not quite maybe. Um, Laura left <laughs> before I even got out of bed this morning. She left. Um, I can't even begin to tell you the huge blessing that that woman is to me. Um, you know, she dropped everything at home and came here when I needed someone the most. And she spent three weeks, three weeks with me um, to help me and to be with me and to laugh with me and to care about me. And um, you are very lucky if you find someone like that in your lifetime. Someone who will just drop everything to come and help you. Um, now if I could do the same for her, I would. But I just know that I'm not entirely sure how I could have gotten through the last three weeks without her. Um, you know, she helped me around the house. She helped lift me up when I wasn't feeling good and she helped, you know, keep me strong and she helped make me feel like, I don't know. It's, it's almost beyond words. Um, she's an angel on this earth. I mean, and that's the bottom line. She's an angel on this earth. Um, she's a trip. She's a trip and a half. <laughs> you know, every day there was a new adventure with her, and it was fun, and it was exciting because you never knew what you were gonna get. <laughs> she never knew what she was gonna get. But um, you know, we went and shopping together, and you know, she helped me clean my house, and she bought my daughter a brand new bed, and she helped me clean, and she. We went and got tattoos together, and we went out to eat together, and, you know, she's my, one of my best friends in the whole wide world. The bottom line is, is my best friend in the whole wide world is Greg, is still Greg. Um, he's not here physically, but I feel him all around me. I feel him in the trees, uh, which are there. You know, I feel him in the wind, I feel him in the, the rain, and he was always... He was always happiest when he was in nature, when he was out amongst the birds and the butterflies and the flowers and the trees and the water and the sand. He was always happiest when he was out in nature, whether he was riding his bike, whether we were hiking trails, whether we were just walking along the beach collecting seashells, whether we were just in the garden. He was always happiest in nature. So that's where I feel him. I feel him in nature and not just him showing up as a specific kind of bird or a specific kind of butterfly or even a specific plant or flower or even just the wind. He's in all of it. Like there's a piece of him everywhere. So it's like being surrounded all the time by his love, which is amazing to me and for me. Um, but yeah, and I know that, you know, with Laura, like, I mean, she didn't have to do half of what she did. She didn't have to do any of it at all, you know, and she chose to do that. And there are so many people in my life that do so many amazing things, you know, not just my family, my family, they're amazing too. And when I say my family, I don't mean just my side. I mean his side too. They're my family too. You know, and they always will be. Um, you know, they're all, I hold a special place in my heart for every single one of them. You know, but my friends, you know, I used to think, oh, sorry, I don't think my paper caps. I don't want the flies on my breakfast. I didn't eat my breakfast yet. I got a bagel and some fruit. Um, you know, I used to think I really didn't have that many friends. You know, I was at a couple, a couple good ones, you know, like Laura and there's a few others, but now I have a lot, I have a lot of friends <laughs> and I, you know, and every single one of them I can call on, you know, I have friends from YouTube, I have friends locally, I have friends from Pennsylvania, I'm like surrounded 
and I'm like, wow, you know, how freaking blessed am I? You know, people lose sight of that. You know, it's, you know, people go through this life, a lot of people go through this life thinking, you know, uh, ne everything negative, everything that's wrong, everything, you know, it's raining today, or, you know, this can't be done today, or that can't be done today, or, man, I just don't feel good today, or, man, I just this, or, man, this, and you know what? If everybody would just take a second and really sit and think about how much they're blessed, life would be a lot easier. And life would be a lot more fun. And I gotta tell you, you know, I, I'll be honest, I woke up this morning, I have a headache. I hate when I wake up with a headache. I'll be honest, I woke up with a headache because I didn't take my meds yesterday. So it's my own fault that I woke up with a headache. So now I gotta drink my coffee and take my meds and you know, I'll feel better in a little while, but I don't feel the greatest right now, you know. I woke up and my best friend left, and, you know, and I just, I, you know, I try to think about, man, how am I going to face the future now, you know, and, but at the bottom line is, as I sit here and I think about just how blessed I was to have her here at all, and how blessed I am to be able to sit out on my porch surrounded by beautiful plants and and a beautiful weather and the birds and the, the, the butterflies and the, fl the flowers, like, how freaking blessed am I? And the thing is, is if I don't want this and I, I want something else, then, then I need to go get it. Like, I, nobody's gonna hand it to me. I gotta go get it. You know, my dreams aren't gonna come true by me sitting here. You know, you gotta get up and you gotta go do it. So, you know, if any message I'm trying to give you this morning, it's go out there. Think about all the things that you're blessed to have in your life. You know, yesterday's gone. You can't get it back. Today, you have. You know, and the future is not guaranteed. So go out there today and think about all the blessings that you have and all the good things that you have in your life. And on top of that, put into this world what you want out of it. Go out and make somebody else's heart smile. Go out and make somebody else laugh. Go out and help somebody else today. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be humongous. Go help somebody carry their groceries to the car. Go out there and shake some veteran's hand that you pass and thank them for their service. Go out there and make somebody's laugh who looks like they're not having a very good day by telling them a joke. You know what I mean? You don't have to go and spend hundreds of dollars to help somebody or, you know, give somebody the shirt off your back or you don't have to do that. It's little things. Go out and smile to somebody who looks like they could meet, use a smile today. That's all you got to do. Okay, so that's my morning message. Now, I was going to go eat my breakfast. See you in a few. All right, 10.37. I am going to church. I, uh, Lacey's not going. She is with her friends that came down from Pennsylvania. And she doesn't get to see them about once a year usually, so I can't blame her for wanting to stay with them. So I'm gonna go to church. I don't know what these people are doing. But okay. Anyway, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And then I gotta go to Walmart. There's a few things that I need to pick up. I need that I bought yesterday which I don't think I ever showed you but they're awesome and I got them for like two dollars anyway so 
I still need to look for some picture frames and I also need uh, to look for some work pants because the work pants that I have shrank when I washed them and if I'm, I'm going to be going back to work and I'm going to be managing so I want to make sure that my uniform looks good um, so there's that and um, there was a couple other things I needed just needed like from like the grocery section I don't need to get like a lot but like a couple odds and ends like I need coffee creamer that kind of thing anyway so I'm not gonna sit here and ramble on and on but that's what's going on so far I think I'm going to clean up this car today like the dirt on the dashboard unreal and uh, mow the yard and stuff today too since it's so nice out because I do go back to work tomorrow and I I'm going into this week upbeat and positive, but I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous because it's been quite some time since I've done this amount of hours in a week at work. So I anticipate, I don't want to say it's going to be hard because I was like, I know what I'm doing and everything, but it's going to be, I don't know, I don't know what it's going to be. We're just going to make the best of it. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Walmart. Just love Walmart. Especially at the beach. But I need a few things. So let's do this. Walmart is done and it is now 1.30. <laughs> so I'm going to go home and I'm going to get some lunch and then I have work to do. I go back to work tomorrow so I need to get the stuff done today because I don't know how I'm going to feel the next couple of days. <laughs> so there's that. So yeah, see you guys when I get home. I had to get out of the neighborhood for the rewacker though. I need to do that. Oi! This is a nice place though, it's absolutely gorgeous out here. It's just pushed out of the grass and the sunlight can be hot. Well, I mowed the lawn. And I sat out there. And then my mommy called. So I talked to her. And then I put a whole bunch of pictures in frames. <laughs> I think it was like 24 photos all together. And I came up with that up there. It's kind of hard to see at the moment, but that's because I'm laying here. But it's photos of me and him. And then I have these butterfly twinkle lights up there. So my walls are coming together quite nice. I don't think I'm gonna put anything else on this wall just because it's where I sleep. needs his best friend back, Laura. <coughs> I gotta take them for a W-A-L-K. Yes, I have to spell it because they know what it means. And I don't want them to get overly excited just yet because I'm not quite ready. And then I think I'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening. Maybe put a movie in. I don't know yet. I should do some more laundry though. Yay. But yeah, so my room's not looking too shabby right now. I have the storage unit, my chair, my coffee pot is over there. 
and then we have, I don't know, I'm really confused, hold on, cat tree, and yeah, cat hasn't been on it a whole lot though, I guess he's just getting used to it, he will get on it, but I figured he'd use it a lot more than he has, he just hasn't yet. <laughs> Bet if I put it outside and put it outside and use it. I can't make eye contact. Because this is what happens. I briefly contemplated going live, but I don't think I feel like it at this point. <laughs> Lacey hasn't come home yet. So yeah, super exciting stuff I know, right? What? What do you want? Oh, I know what you want, but I don't know right now. He just wants like, love. How's your pet? All right, I uh, will see you guys later.